So in this video, we're going to tie together a number of the concepts we've already seen uh, in order to rearrange this drum beat into something new. Uh, let's give it a quick listen. So I'm going to be taking individual hits from this loop. Uh, now the first beat has a crash symbol on it, which actually means that I'm pretty much restricted to just the second bar. Uh, let's give a quick listen again to see what I mean. So my only clean samples are going to be from about here onwards. I'll start with a kick. Now in order to capture this, I'm going to select just in front of a kick, check tab to transient is turned on, and press the tab key, which will automatically move my edit selection to the beginning of this beat. I can then hold the shift key with the select tool to extend my selection. Let's give that a listen. A little bit long, so let's fine tune that. Better. So to capture this as a new clip, I go to Clip, Capture. You can see the shortcut for this is Command R. Uh, this is a little bit of a remnant from the pre Pro Tools 10 days when clips were known as regions. Let's name this Kick. So let's do the same to find a couple of snare hits. There's one, so select just in front of it, tab to transient, shift click. And a second snare, I think we've got one here. Now this is uh, actually a clip taken from a longer audio file. I can actually extend this to see the rest of the uh, snare hit from here. So now I'll uh, tab to transient again and check out what that's like. Uh, it needs a bit of fine tuning I think, uh, but we'll, we'll do that afterwards. So for now I'll just capture it as a rough clip. Let's find some hi-hats. I think I've got some open hi-hats and closed hi-hats. This should be a closed hi-hat. This should be another closed hi-hat. And this is an open hi-hat. Now this time I'm going to use tab to transient to make my entire selection. So hold the shift, hit tab, and now I've made my edit selection all the way to the next beat. So I've got the entire of the open hi-hat in one go. Let's capture that. And all of the uh, clips I just captured are now available in my clip list. And I can actually preview them from here uh, by holding the option key. Uh, the uh, open hi hat has got a snare drum, uh, sorry, a kick drum at the same time, but that can't really be helped. Okay, I'm done now with the original drum loop track, so uh, I will hide it and make it inactive, get it totally out of the way. So uh, let's choose our new tempo for our drum beat. Um, I'm going to go for uh, 142 BPM, and I'll do this by going to Window, Transport, uh, here's my manual tempo, and type in 142. I'm going to be doing this editing in grid mode, and it's really going to help to see my grid that's currently set to a 16th note. So all that needs to be done now is to get these clips into my edit window. Uh, now I don't actually have to pre-create tracks for this. Uh, if I drag say my kick drum to uh, here, uh, this will actually uh, create a track and name it after the clip automatically for me. Uh, let's now just place the kick exactly where I want it. So we'll start here and if I option drag this will uh, make a copy rather than move the region. 
Let's have a few more of these. I uh, accidentally zoomed there because if you uh, uh, hold the uh, option key and use the scroll wheel on the mouse it will actually do up and down. We'll do a uh, horizontal zoom and left and right does vertical zoom. Uh, to quickly go back I'm just going to uh, just dial up a zoom preset. Uh, one of these should be about right. Okay, uh, there it is. Yeah, always the last one. Uh, I'm only doing a uh, two bar loop so if I now double click on the magnifying glass that will zoom to fit my entire track into the selection. Uh, let's fine tune that slightly and I'm going to save this as a new zoom preset one. So if I accidentally uh, drag with the option key held again I can go quickly back to my uh, zoom setting. Uh, let's add some of these snare hits. So again, into a new track. You can see if I drag to here, it's, it's showing me exactly where it put it in an existing track. So just go down a little to create a new track for it. Let's uh, create a click track so we can hear this in some kind of context. And let's add a few uh, hi-hats to this now. So here's the first one, and I'll put this here. And I'll add the second hat straight after it, like so. Uh, I can also hold the Shift key to make multiple selections. So now if I Option drag, I'm going to be taking both of these hi-hats with me at the same time. Ah, uh, did my uh, zoom mistake once more. It can be kind of fiddly with the uh, Mighty Mouse on occasion. And let's put this here. Uh, add an open hi-hat. And I'll just copy uh, all of these to here. And uh, well, I'll change it slightly. Okay, let's give that a listen. Finally, I'll add in some uh, second snare hits. Uh, that should do. Uh, next, I'm going to add a few fades to my snare drum hits here. Uh, now, currently I'm set to grid, so any fading I tried to do would be a uh, 16th note uh, rounded. But if you hold the command key, you can override the uh, grid setting, allowing me to uh, put different amounts instead. Uh, I could have done this on just the first snare hit, and then all of these would have been copied with the fade on them already, uh, but yeah, a bit too late now. <laughs> so, uh, have one more listen to this. And without the click track, turn this off with the 7 key on the numeric keypad. What I'm going to do now is to consolidate these, and what this means, if I select all of these kick parts together, and I can do the same for multiple tracks. Remember we can make multiple selections by shift clicking on other tracks. And I'm going to go to edit and choose consolidate clip. And not what this does is create new clips which are basically glued together versions of all the other ones. Um, this is going to make it a lot easier if I wanted to make this drum beat repeat a few times. I can now just click and drag and this is going to bring all of the parts together. 
Now an alternative technique to do the same kind of thing would be to use a clip groups which have got the advantage that you can uh, ungroup them again afterwards but we'd be looking at that in one of our advanced videos. Uh, so uh, that's about it for now. In the next video we'll start to look at the uh, MIDI sequencing capabilities of Pro Tools.